welcome to the end of this Total War time lapse. And it was definitely a good one. So this was a mod that I made uh, for myself and it removed all the Catholic factions like England, France, the Pope, all of those. And it kept just the Orthodox factions and the Islamic factions of Russia, Byzantium, Egypt, Moors and the Turks. I also removed the Mongols and the Timurids as well because, you know, it's they were like 99% guaranteed to win so there's no point having them. They're just It just gets dull when they're in. Um, and all factions actually survived to the end, which is interesting, Byzantium on their islands, uh, the Turks um, here as a vassal of Egypt, and Egypt and Moors have cross survived. Uh, I liked uh, the little comeback over here by the Moors, taking Lisbon, that was fun to see. Um, the last uh, 20 seconds of a video of course showed the final uh, 200 turns, and if I go another, if I put another 2 hours into this, uh, this is what's going to happen. Lisbon will fall, and some settlements over here might fall. It's yeah, it's very slow at this point, and there's no point, uh, you know, me putting in another five hours uh, into making this time lapse when you know the AI's so, as slow as it is. Nothing really is going to happen. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do subscribe if you want to see more as well. That every Tuesday and Friday. And this is the best place to be for AI on the time lapses. But enough of that, let's check the statistics. Uh, diplomacy is here. Uh, Russia ended up at war with Moors and Egypt. Of course, they have a win. So well done to Russia there because they have the most amount of territory. Uh, Egypt own uh, the Turks as a vassal. The Papal States is annoying. I couldn't really remove them. Um, they're, uh, they're somewhere in Cuba, I think. Okay, but before we check the stats, um, I just want to say something. Uh, this was really funny because of how the religion worked, and at one point, of course, when Russia had these settlements here, they had like a line of Orthodox priests. Like, in these three settlements here, they had about 20 Orthodox priests just all stacked around each other. And then Russia moved on and expanded and took Fawn, Houch, and Ayazi, for example, and then the priests just moved along so they were like, as they were taking territory, they had this massive army of orthodox priests just moving along with them. It was hilarious to see. <laughs> just lots of them at the end. And uh, Britain just ended up full of heretics. Um, I wonder what the religion's like over here. It must be like 100% heretic at this point. Okay, but the stats. Overall, Russia wins, but it's all done to be decided by territory. And there we go, territory. So that's uh, 68 settlements, I think, that's showing there from Russia. Uh, the Egyptians came second. Um, they were actually a vassal of Russia for most of the, most of the second half of the game, uh, which was interesting. It was only in the last uh, 200 turns where they actually broke that vassalization and went to war with the Russians. But yeah, they were, when they were a massive empire, they were a vassal of Russia, which was... Yeah. If I ended up... If I ended this at turn 500, uh, because... Uh, vassal territory counts as belonging to the overlord in my time lapses. Um, Russia would have counted as owning all of this because Egypt had this and were vassal of Russia. So, yeah, if I ended up turn 500, but no, they eventually broke free and went to war. Uh, the Moors in third place, and then Byzantium, and then the Turks in last place. Russia moved their capital to Innsbruck, if anyone is interested in that, right in the middle of their empire there. And as expected, uh, Egypt moved theirs to Antioch. Hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Hope to see you in the next time lapse. So make sure you subscribe to get notified. Um, and all the other stuff I do as well. AI only battles, some let's plays, some AI only battles let's plays with a time lapse at the end. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> a lot of weird stuff. Uh, hope you've enjoyed. And goodbye.